If you're wondering what the best custom ISO to use is, I think you clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing XOS versus Windows X Lite. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, the first custom ISO I'm having a look at today is Windows XOS. I hope I'm saying that right. I really like the layout of the, not the layout, but the overall look and feel especially of the um, the custom background, the XOS uh, logo over here, looks very cool. Um, and then in terms of customization uh, that's been baked into the operating system, uh, you'll see there's an XOS folder. It just gives you directions, says set up your GP drivers first. And then there's a uh, the text that basically explains that you don't need to um, do any of your own optimizations. In fact, they, they recommend that you don't do any other optimizations because XOS already has been optimized quite a bit. Um, there are browsers baked into this operating system. I don't use any of that. I like using Opera GX. Um, and then there's, yeah, you can disable and enable services via this con uh, configuring services and features section. Uh, troubleshooting, there's a whole bunch of options here as well as tweaks a whole bunch of tweaks here but you can have a look at that if you do decide to install this operating system just before i get to my results um i just want to show you um so when i first installed the, the operating system before i installed any programs or games uh this is the status quo because obviously if i show you the task manager like this it is skewed due to the fact that i'm using obs so when I first installed this operating system, you can see um, a background processes was only, was only seven, Windows processes was only 30. Um, processes, as you can see on the CPU, is only 41, which is pretty cool. And then RAM usage was ultra low. I do use 24 gigs of RAM on my system. So if you got 16 gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM, it would probably be much lower because obviously the scales according to how much RAM you have on your system. So that's looking pretty good. In terms of the tweaks pre-built into the system, uh, I had a look at device manager before I started doing anything and you can see uh, um, the, uh, they disable remote desktop device di director or redirector bus, programmable interrupt controller, uh, NDIS virtual network adapter immunerator, Microsoft Power B, high precision event timer and then composite bus enumerator um, and then the one thing i didn't like is the fact and you'll see when i talk about windows uh, x Lite, um it's it's not a problem i have but when i installed this custom iso um, i had to manually go at, in and add in all the options missing in the power options it's also something that i find with the latest builds of windows all these options are missing so that wasn't too cool. Um, you'll see that there weren't a hell of a lot of services disabled by default. Um, however, they have got rid of Print Spooler as well as Sysmain, which are the two major services that I recommend that you disable whenever you're setting up a custom Windows or when you're customizing your build of Windows. So I really like that. Um, uh, you can see there were very few service host entries when I first installed the, the custom ISO that points to the fact that they have set split threshold uh, very much above whatever your RAM configuration is so you're going to have very few service host entries over here which is very cool. Um, uh, UAC is disabled by default, I love that. Um, all the uh, visual c++ runtime packages are pre-installed that's very cool um, and then uh, the turn windows features on and off there's very little to do yeah in fact i only had to disable media features and install net framework 3.5 everything else is switched off so that's a big time saver and then um, yeah obviously windows update is disabled so that's pretty cool so guys um what I can say is this custom ISO, obviously it comes optimized out the box. It, it looks very cool. It feels very cool. I'm not going to get to the results now because that's at the end of the video. So next I'm going to have a look at Windows X Lite. Right guys, this is going to bring us to our second custom ISO, which is Windows X Lite 10 Optimum 
version 3.11 so this is based on windows 10 the version 3 0.11 uh, gives wind to the fact that it's Windows 10, but it's got a Windows 11 interface, which in my box is pretty funky. Um, I have covered this uh, this particular custom ISO quite a bit in the past. Thing I always mention that I like is the fact that Win Error Tweaker is baked into the OS, so um, it gives you some fantastic functionality. Um, I have done quite a couple of videos on Win Error Tweaker, so you can just go over those if you are interested in doing some tweaks um, when you do install it, it there, uh, there is the windows uh, x light extras and info tab and you can just go through that uh, it's got desktop shortcuts uh, enable printing because printing is disabled by default um, you can go through all these options over here and as always whenever i do one of these videos i am going to change the desktop so um what I will say, I'm not going to mention the performance now, that's for later in the video. Uh, first and foremost, when you install uh, Windows X Lite before you apply any uh, or install any programs or, and so forth optimizations, this, bear in mind, this is with 4 gigs of, uh, of virtual memory. So generally, this is about 4.5 to 4.8 gigs when you first install the OS. Um, I do like the fact that a mini show delay is by default set to zero so you don't have to set that later so everything does appear a lot snappier on the on the actual um, on the desktop in terms of processes a uh, little bit more than a um, little bit more than XOS but that's not a massive big hassle uh, there's 46 processes as opposed to 40 uh, in terms of RAM usage, it's exactly the same at 1.3 gigs. But just bear in mind, if you've got 16 gigs or 8 gigs, this number will come down because your because your operating system obviously allocates according to the amount of RAM on your computer. And then just in terms of background processes and Windows processes, it's 7 and 35 respectively. Uh, in terms of the tweaks that are baked into the operating system itself, uh, the context menu is quite cool. We got you got the control panel that got baked in. Uh, there's a link to command prompt, uh, kill unresponsive tasks, uh, PowerShell. So the context menu is souped up a little bit. I, uh, as mentioned in the in the review I did on XOS, um, power options by default comes with all those options, so you don't have to find a different way to add in wireless adapter settings, PCI Express, post a uh, process of power management, etc. Yeah, James always folds this into his boards, which I really do appreciate. Uh, also, spec and meltdown by default, uh, feature settings override and feature settings override mask are set to three, so you're good to go right from the very beginning. You don't need to do it yourself. Um, uh, UAC is set to off, which is awesome. And then you'll see uh, updates or pause until the 7th of November in the year 3000 so unless some of you are going to be around until that time which I doubt uh, your yeah, update should not be a hassle for you so guys I'm going to get to my results but I'll do that when I compare the two operating systems with uh, compared against my own Windows Optimized so it's going to come at you in two seconds right and this brings me to the portion of the video where I compare my results and make my conclusion just bear in mind guys i actually did this test on tuesday but after benchmarking um xos i found that my entos kernel uh, was bumming out on xos and then it affected my current system as well so based on those results i actually had xos uh quite far behind but it's a lot closer than that so let's get to those results so I compared my own version of Windows 10 with my optimizations, Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 3.11 versus XOS, uh, the latest Windows 10 build. So I did test it over, I think it's, yeah, over 10 games. Um, I did use the latest uh, NVIDIA driver 537.58. And then just bear in mind, I am testing on a GTX 1650 laptop. Um, so for uh, Windows XOS, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to a total average FPS of 696. 
and then when I add up all the one percent lows, I get to a total over ten games of five hundred three one percent lows. When I compare that against my own version of Windows ten with my own optimizations, when I add up all the oh no, when I add up all the average FPS, my total FPS gets to six hundred ninety four. So you can see extra S is a little bit faster. And when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 501. So there's not a lot in it, but XOS is a little bit more stable than my own version of optimized Windows. And then lastly, when I get to Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 3.11, when I add up all the average FPS, my totals come to 698. So you can see this is actually the fastest um, operating system that I tested. And when I add up all the 1% lows, my 1% loaded total comes to 504. So at the end of the day, uh, my conclusion is this. If you want to try out XOS, fantastic. It's, it's a fantastic little build. It is a little bit inconvenient because all the optimizations are already baked into the operating system. So um, you can actually break something. So my recommendation is if you install that system, do as little extra additional optimizations because you're going to screw up your, your build. Um, whereas Windows X Lite, um, uh, regular viewers of my channel, you know that I absolutely love Windows X Lite. I just find that um, it's very convenient, it's not a hassle to install. In fact, it's quite a joy to install. And as you can see, when you compare Windows X Lite and XOS, you're getting better average FPS and better 1% lows than my much vaulted Windows 10 Optimized. So there's very little between the two operating systems. In terms of functionality, I'd say Windows X Lite is probably easier and more convenient. But if you want bare bones, then I would recommend Windows XOS. But guys, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you have if you are still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. It's the weekend, it's Friday, have a good one, it's people like you, cheers.